Okay, I've come up here to the local wood and decided to do a bit of dog training. Um, there's herself. She's out exploring here. First time she's been here, which seems to be having fun. Already she has left me a parcel, so I have to get that cleaned up. And it's important to make sure you clean up after your dog, no matter where you are. But I will get that cleaned up now. And uh, we're going to do a wee bit of training with Dee. And uh, see how she gets on. So, so far we've looked at um, how to get the dog to sit. How to get to come to you. How to stop it pulling on, on your lead. And uh, how to put on the lead properly. And what equipment you're going to need. So right today, just very simply with a dog whistle and a couple of dummies. have a rucksack with me, just because a couple of wee bits and pieces in there. And uh, what we're going to do is just progress that training. What you want to do is you'll move on from the likes of sit, we'll move on to introducing a whistle into that. And for D, a single blast on the whistle is her sit command. And then two sharp whistles is her come command. So we're going to practice that today, just so she's used to it. And to introduce it to your dog, what you want to do is start off with the word sit and your hand signal. So sit and then introduce your whistle, your single blast. And what that will do is the dog will then get used to hearing the hands, seeing the hand signal, hearing the word sit and the whistle. And then you just keep, keep that introduced and then you can then start to leave out the word sit. Now what I did is I just didn't go straight to the whistle. So what I did was from the word sit to then doing s because that's the start of sit then to a whistle. So introducing that next in between layer and then the dog got used to that. So if I now pull up my hand, say the word sit or s or a single blast on the whistle, the dog knows that she's meant to sit. So when did you sit to you now? First we're going to do the, because um, she's out of sight, we're going to do the cum, which is two short blasts, and then we'll try and get her stopped. Here she comes. So that's a rough um, going at it. Again, she's only 10 months, so it's not as sharp as I would like it to be. But um, this is all graduated training. I'm not going to push the dog. I'm not going to force her to uh, to do a sit straight away. That's all graduated training. Uh, later on, that'll all be sharpened up. But for now, it's just getting her to do it and for it to be playful with her. So loads of praise when you teach your dog. That's the key, it's loads of praise. Well done, good girl. Nice high pitched voices. And uh, let her enjoy it. So we'll try her again here, it's a bit of a straight. And uh, hopefully you'll see her. She's wandering way off, but hopefully we'll, we'll show you again. So there she is. Come 
Come on. So that gives you an idea of um, practicing with the whistle. So the short uh, peep is for her sit and then the two peep peep that is her cum. There's loads of other different variations you can do. There's other different uh, signals for a whistle that you can use. This is what I've chosen and uh, also works for me. So we might do a wee bit of retrieving. I had a question about retrieving and uh, and how you start the dog off retrieving. That's really just using the legs of a tennis ball. And your dog has a natural instinct and wants to chase stuff. So if you can encourage that and encourage the dog to chase something, uh, be it a tennis ball, and praise them as they're bringing it back to you. Good girl, good girl. Loads of praise the dog brings that back to you and build that up. Uh, tennis balls are great to use for, for training. You don't need to go and buy the dummies that I have. Um, you will need to buy them at some point for the weight wise, to get the dog used to heavier weight, to get the dog um, used to fur, to then maybe onto a pheasant dummy. Depends what your dog's going to be introduced to in the field. Hopefully the um, Realistically, her life will probably be rabbits, um, maybe duck, and maybe pheasant, pigeon, maybe as well. Um, so they're the game that I'm thinking of that I'm going to be able to introduce her to. Uh, the luxury is pheasant, really, because uh, of getting into a shooting syndicate or something is very hard when you don't have a lot of money. But maybe getting her in um, with a working dog, you know, getting her in that doing retrieving all year, maybe doing some beating, you may get an invite to a shoot. And uh, then you can be able to do retrieving from there with her. But we'll do a wee bit of retrieving here. It's a nice straight path. We'll do a bit of retrieving just to show you. Alright, so what I'm going to do with Dee, just going to send her on up the lane there, call her back a wee bit, and uh, get her to sit. We'll throw a dummy for her and see how she gets on. Dee, 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 come. Get on. Get on.
Good girl. Good girl. So that sort of retrieve that takes up a long time to to get going. Um, getting her not to run in as soon as she sees the dummy. But to start off your dog, um, we're going to do some what they call marked retrieves. I'm just going to demonstrate that to you now. Alright, so the marked retrieve, we we'll take our dummy, we're going to set it on the ground and tell the dog to mark. Mark is just for her to realise that that's her dummy and then we'll, we'll do the retrieve from there. So, D. 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 Come. Come. In the heel. So just place her in the set position. Mark. Just drop the... Let's get the dummy in front of the camera for you. Mark. Now we're going to lead her away from it. And then send her for it. Come. Now I'm hoping she doesn't knock down the camera. Here we go. Good girl. Come on, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now you're starting to build that up. Um can be quite difficult. Getting your dog to do that sort of marked retrieve can be difficult. Um, to start them off, you want them really, really keen to run in. I mean, straight away you want them in after that ball or that dummy or whatever. You don't want them hesitant. But then, if you imagine you're out at a game day or you're out rough shooting or whatever, you don't want your dog to go straight in after that dummy or that pheasant or rabbit or bird, whatever it is. You want the dog to be sent for it. So building that up can be hard. Um, video I done ages ago about D, I think it was like D five months on or something, showed her uh, really keen to get in when I threw the dummy and I just went, ah! She knew she'd done wrong, she sort of froze. Then I sent her on for it. And it's, she now knows that unless I send her, and the movement I use when I send her will try and show you. But uh, that's, uh, that's what we'll do next. We'll show you how I send the dog out for the retrieve. So what I'll do is I'll put the dummy on up as I'm going to do a retrieve. But just watch my body language as I'm sending her out. If uh, you remember uh, back when I said about walking the dog on the left hand side and how most people shoot right-handed. The way I'm going to send the dog out is mimicking a shotgun being placed up on the um, on shoulder and firing. So what I do is the dog will be at heel with me and I'll just kneel down towards her and just get on. And it's that get on. You can use whatever command you want to do that. Fetch, pick it up, whatever you want to do. For me, I've just used get on and uh, then she charges in for it um, she won't go unless I send her on that so I'll show you that I'll go on up the road a wee bit and I'll show you uh, my body language when I'm doing the retrieve just put this down a wee bit hopefully you'll see D come D so we've got the 
dummy. Come. Eye contact with the dog. Get him. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Dead. Ah, set. Now that was only maybe about 10 feet away. 12 feet away. But uh, it's that body language of getting down to the dog, pointing where I want to go, just get on. And that's uh, her hand signal for get on. Uh. Right, so we're going to demonstrate the back command uh, to you now. Back is used if the dog isn't where I want her to be to pick up the dummy, or if I think um, she's missed it, or if I've shot a bird and it's behind her. I want her to get back, um, or if I want to place her somewhere, I'll try to get back and uh, put her where I want her to be. So we'll try and demonstrate the back command to you. Let's get the dog. That's the whistle command for come. Arm signals up, and here she comes running. Good girl. Good girl. So we're going to put the dummy a bit further up, bring her back towards the camera, sit her down um, between me and the, so of the dummy, the dog, then me, and then I'll send her back. You see the dog sitting there, ready to go get the retrieve. She's marked it. Now we'll just send her back. Hey. Back. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Good girl. Delivery to hand is what you want as often as you can get it. She's only 10 months so I'm not going to push her um, if she drops it. But any delivery to hand that she does perfect, loads of praise. And then hopefully that gets her into the mind that if I deliver back to hand I'm getting loads of praise. And loads of treats and extra work and all that crack. So um, that is the uh, back command. Now one thing you don't want to do is to teach your dog to go for every single retrieve. You want the dog to select retrieves. You don't want it just running in willy nilly after everything. It's bad etiquette when you're out on a shoot to have your dog not under control. If birds are coming down you want to be able to mark the birds and then send your dog for it. If To keep your dog keen as well, if you can, if the bird is only a couple of feet beside you, pick it up yourself. If it's a couple of meters away, pick it up yourself. Don't send your dog for every single retrieve. We're going to demonstrate that now and show you what I mean. So what I've got is uh, two dummies with me. I've got her rabbit dummy and I've got the orange one that, been, that we have been using. And uh, we're going to set her down. We're going to throw the dummies, try to mark them, but I'm going to get them. I do not want her uh, going running in for the, she will then know that I'm smart enough that I can get my own birds if I want to get them. So, D. So she sees them, she's looking at them, she knows not to go until I tell her. and pick them up myself. Good girl. This teaches your dog steadiness. This teaches your dog that you're the boss. That you tell her what she's getting and not the other way around. 
Let's give her a couple more. Set. So a few more. Date. Come. So she's seen them. She's looking at me. She wants to go for it. Hand signals up for the sit. This is all practicing her sit, her sit stay. Sit. Sit. When they come back to her, sit. She stayed there, give her some praise. She's done what you've asked her to do. She stayed there. And that's the purpose of the exercise. So practicing that. You can do this in your garden, you can do it in your house. Just roll a ball for see tails wagging, she knows that she's having fun. Um, practice that. Practice getting the dog steady. So just for a wee bit of fun, we'll combine uh, some training that we've we've done. Just to let you, give you an idea of the stage that she's at at the minute, at 10 months old. Okay. Mark. Mark. Get up. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, dead. Get on. Get on. Get on. Fetch it on. Fetch it on. Fetch it on. Hey. Hey. Get on. Get on. Get on. Hey. Get on. Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Atta girl, good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl, fetch it on, fetch it on. Good girl, fetch it on. Good girl, go on. Good girl, good girl, good girl. This is quite a hard one for Good girl. That's it. Good girl. <coughs> Good girl. Well done. Well done. Now in fairness to her there, that was a very hard retrieve. A very hard one. It was right in the brambles and uh, I don't think she saw it 100%. Um, so, sending her for two retrieves. First one picked up, delivered back to hand exactly the way I wanted it, sitting down, head up, and delivery. Um, the second one, a bit more of encouragement. She ran past it to start off with, and I'm trying to bring her back and then sending her off to the left. Um, so my left, her right. Sending her off there to get her in to the right area. Um, took a bit of work, but that's what you're gonna expect. You're not gonna get rabbits, or birds and stuff, you're not going to get them falling nice and perfect every time. Your dog's going to have to work for it and you're going to have to have the patience with her and uh, encourage her to get it. So when I saw, because it's again bright orange dummy, I'm not going to lose that. If that was a green dummy I could have lost it very easily. I could see it just about and I knew the area she, that she needed to be in and encouraging her to get on, get on get on, encouraging her to push in, and just so she knows to trust me, I know where it is and I'll tell you where it is. And just that's all it is, is trust. So the dog knows, he, this is dad, he knows what he's doing and he knows what's right. And then she went in, found it and I could see her on it and loads of encouragement to get it. And uh, we got a, a lovely delivery. She did drop it on the way back, but I don't mind. She'd done uh, a lot better than what I thought 
should have done with that one. So loads of encouragement and uh, we'll leave it at that for now. So I really hope you're enjoying these videos, these gun dog uh, training videos. This is my take on gun dog training. This is stuff that I've picked up um, online and uh, from different videos I've watched and just my own getting to know my dog. I know she can be she's a very, very timid dog. She doesn't need an awful lot of telling off. A growl, um, occasionally a wee smack across the snout. She's playing here in the water, which is great. And, and that's it, your dog's having fun. Your dog has fun, you'll get the results out of the dog, what you want to get. Um, I know a growl, a wee ah! And she knows that I mean business. So hopefully you're enjoying these, hopefully this is inspiring you to get out and train your own dog. If you're not using this as a gun dog, if you don't have a gun dog, this, this, these training techniques work on any dog. You can get any sort of dog doing small retrieves with a ball, getting it to sit, stay, come, back. You can do all that stuff with any sort of dog. This is just uh, my take on gun dog training. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully you've, you've enjoyed these uh, wee videos. They, may can, they will hopefully continue on and we'll get into more deeper stuff uh, later on as I progress in my training and uh, as Dee progresses as well. So, she disappeared, we'll leave you with her coming towards us. So we're going to call her in. Dee! Thanks for watching.